Hey everybody, welcome to the garage. Today I'm going to show you how I clean up a floor. The garage is all completed, but the floor is unfinished. I want to have a finished painted surface, so it's really easy to clean and also keeps the dust down. So what I've got to do, first up I've got to blow off any of the dust and dirt off the top scrape any little dags, any bits of leftover building material, plaster, a bit of silicon, whatever. Clean that all off and then blow it out again. I run around the good quality masking tape because the masking tape's going to be down for a, a, a couple of days. Acid wash it and then wash the acid off and let it dry. So depending on the weather, I've got to be prepared for a, a, maybe 24 hours before I start painting. I want to seal the edges because I've got an MDF skirting board sealing in between the skirting and the concrete with a good quality gap filler. So if there's any spills down the track, any minor floods or whatever, everything is completely sealed up. No water is going to get into the walls. Next up, we've got to do a bit of a wash. We've got to do an acid wash. Use hydrochloric acid or Bricky's acid. Etch the surface so that the paint has got something to stick to because the surface, as it's been left by the concreters, is quite smooth and the paint won't stick properly to it unless we give it a, a bit of a rough texture to it. It's only very slight, almost microscopic. You can't see it with your naked eye, but it will allow the paint to grip into the concrete. About one litre of hydrochloric acid to four litres of water and just spread it all over the floor. You can see how it froths up. and then do a normal wash to get rid of the acid. So we don't want any of that acid residue left on the surface. Uh, we just want to do a quick acid wash and then wash that off as well. Then I'll leave it for however long it takes for the concrete now to dry. There are two options with paving paint. You can use an acrylic paint or an oil-based paint. My preference anyway is for oil-based paint. I, th I believe that it gets into the concrete a bit better. The first coat we've got to thin down with turps. It is an option to actually wash the surface with just straight turps before you start painting. Let it absorb in. Uh, if you were using water-based paint, my advice would be to just leave the surface slightly damp so that the acrylic paint will once again be pulled into the concrete by that water. The first coat is a thin coat. I poured three litres of the paint into here. I'm going to thin it down. You can see they recommend about 10% with this particular paint. 10% of turps to uh, the paint. So thinning that down. I think I'll just use all of that. And this will be the first coat. So once again, I'm after something that will really absorb into the concrete and of course I'm guessing that this is going to cover the whole floor and I think with that layer of turps nearly four litres to cover the 36 square metres so a lot of turps on the floor and at least 10% in there in the first coat and now cut it in cut that in around the edges you can see it's going to go a long way. It's going to be easy to, very easy to spread out. You can see why I use the good quality masking tape because it's got to stay on there for several days. And then the rest of it will just simply be rolled out.
first coat is on. So three litres of paint and half a litre of turps and I've covered 36 square metres and no paint left over, just made it. Well, hey, 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 we've reached the last coat, the last stage, the third day. So first day washing, wait 24 hours the concrete to dry out. Second day is, oh, sorry about that, <laughs> is the first coat uh, thinned down. Today is the last coat. And what I've been using, by the way, is White Knight Ultra Pave Heavy Duty Formula Paving and Concrete Paint. So, and oil based. You can also get it in acrylic. I'm not paid by the company, I'm just showing you what I'm using. So once again, I cut it all in and then I will roll it. Yesterday I used three litres of paint. I've got seven left. It'll be interesting to see how much paint is left over, if any. One little step I've decided to do before I continue painting. I'm taking the masking tape off because I'm not going to be back here for about two weeks. I don't want the masking tape to be stuck to that skirting so I'll just get rid of it and I'll just I'll have to be a little bit careful with the roller so today the paint is straight out of the can no thinning down and I'm going to be putting it on reasonably thickly I'm not worrying about a roller tray it's just as easy to pour it straight out of the bucket All done. And I would leave it for up to a week before you start bringing vehicles in on it. And then when that week is up, it's going to be a very hard finish and it's going to be well adhered to the concrete because of the process that we've gone through. Okay guys, hope that helps you with your paving paint, whichever variety you're going to use, whichever type is available to you. And um, I'll see you again on the next video. Bye for now.